Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to have our first look at Music Store Simulator. Thank you to Creative Forge Games and Playaway for the game key. So this is currently $24.99 on Steam in early access. So we are doing tutorial mode because this game is extremely involving. And you'll see why shortly. Because this there's a lot to do here. Look to the right, look to the left. Okay, we're going to do notifications and... Pick out our first email. So let's go upstairs to go to our computer because this is a sim game. Therefore, we have a computer. All right, fancy computer actually has our logo. All right, the email application receives all the orders from your customers and order can be OK. So we understand what an email is, but we will keep this screen up. Because there's a lot of information this game feeds you in like bites. We'll leave this up for five, ten seconds, and then we'll close it. I'm not going to read everything. There's a lot of information. So we're going to go to emails. Tyler Stevens. I had a guy that looked like Bruno Mars before the last time I played. <laughs> and... So I guess we're rebuilding a whole guitar, aren't we? Also picked a different location. And I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was maybe Nashville or something. Gives you kind of like bullet points of what they want. Glass, cl classical guitar. OPEC gloss for your finish. Uh, they want black, navy, blue colors. Metallic finishes steel. I think that would have replaced gold that I was doing before. Could be wrong. Uh, plastic finishes, navy blue. Not like we have a choice to deny it. I mean, you, you might, but keep the game over. <laughs> you can be waiting a while. All right, so now we accepted it. So let's. Uh, so it's showing you market application. I'm not. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to buy strings. We should probably look while we're here. Let's see if we have at least a little bit of everything. So we have missing, we have, do have missing parts. Uh, we have strings. So strings are in fact missing. That is one thing that you have to pay attention to. Because you'll get to that point and you won't have any. And you're going to need six. So I think, I don't know if they come in bunches of six. I would probably get, yeah, assembly part six. So we need six. Um, and we're doing two hour delivery. But I also sped up the game because you can speed up time. So I have it like 10 times as opposed to one where one is like real time, very slow. And I you, two day process, you'd have to pay attention to buy things immediately because it might take you maybe a day because you have to glue and dry and everything. So, I mean, it, there is a process. I also sped up the time, so I'm kind of curious as to two hours. Is that going to be like five minutes in terms of time? I guess we could see in the here's our warehouse. OK, here's another informational thing. Again, they throw a lot of information at you, so I'm just going to leave it there for a second so people can digest it for posterity's sake. If anybody looks at this video and wants to learn how to play the game. And they have enough time to pause and look at everything. Here you can just hover over stuff. So there's your necks. There's more of your necks, your different colors, different types of wood, sound boards, your bands, your bottoms, frames. And you got your binding. This this is just it's it's overwhelming. About as musical as I get would be in the shower. <laughs> Cause the acoustics are way better. Uh, lower support, fretboard, here's your paints. Yeah, it's just a lot. I really wish that they would maybe have a picture of what the item is on the outside, but I mean hover overing them really fast. 
it's very snappy i don't have to click anything i'm literally just hovering over huh freights freight markers my trucking company and american truck simulators freight not uh strap button super glues here we go string so it already has shown up i know we should probably get more and the funny thing is the very very last thing <laughs> we've looked at everything and it's the last legit box on the shelf all right let's get to work here we got two workbenches so we're going to right click to get in the little radial wheel and we're going to select resume work on the bench or project we have to select the bench we'll select the one behind me so move here and you don't actually carry it it brings it over here again another full screen informational thing i love it but also at the same time a bit overwhelming once you kind of go like five or six deep with these full screen menus a lot of information kind of wish it trickled it as you went along instead of just slapping you in the face with everything but we'll figure it out yeah, a lot of it you're just clicking on things. Long pressing. One now. So here we're going to right click for the radio menu here. We're going to work on the project. So first step is I think we're going to glue everything together. So we're going to do the assembly first. I really hope that later stages of the game, it continues holding your hand because this is very involved. Unless you do this for a living or as a hobby and you love and enjoy fixing uh, musical equipment. This is very daunting <laughs> for the novice like I am. Because it's a lot. It's a lot to do. Again, another assembly. Now that we've begun that, now it's going to give us information on how to do things. Right, so now we're going to go to initial quality. So the yellow ones are always going to be your ones that you're going to have to make a change in something. So from what I've gathered, one of the options is you're basically looking for green green. Green would be in stock. And the checkbox is the one of their their asks. So obviously, Ash, the the better star quality one, would have been another one. But luckily, we have one of each. We have the cheaper ones because I mean we're just starting out. We'll do that. We'll select that one. And experience is already selected as Ash, and it's a lower again, not the higher tier. So we'll just hit phase complete. Or actually, we'll have to change the gloss. So they're going to want opaque, black, and gloss. You get automatic, and it will just set everything. Or we can do it ourselves. Not sure entirely. Oh, here we go. That's how we do it. Okay, that's set and then I'll gloss slide it up we're good so see all the three check boxes over here actually you know what let me turn on my cursor all right there we go now we have a cursor again so now you can see what I'm pointing at yeah I usually have it turned off because not every game needs a cursor and a lot of times the cursor is still there even though you're using a gamepad but yeah, anyways, we the the add all the, your your their asks their wants on the order here. So we just manually just change them, change the filters here. So transparent, but they want OPEC. So we change that and then black here and then gloss down here and slider. But you can also just hit automatic configuration and it'll change everything. And that's just simple. So here, now we're going to do the bands so if you ever get lost on what to do next just hover the top right corner now you can see my cursor and it's going to show you what you need to do so we're going to long press and i think we're going to select uh, what do we have options so we got rosewood we got walnuts 
I'm thinking those are the only suitable ones. And again, we have the cheaper versions. We'll do... I'll do a walnut. And then again, here now we'll show you the automatic configuration option. Or see, it just automatically selects everything. And you're good. And again, experience automatically changes to walnut based off of what we've already configured. You really don't have to do the green ones. Are ones that you can skip over on the options over here because it's already either pre-applied or it's not an option it's not anything you can change but the experience changes based off of the the quality and the the initial step that you take now we do the opposite side we picked walnut so our initial quality again i mean this is already here it's picking rosewood by default but we're going to change it to walnut there and again we could just do the simple automatic uh, configuration base completed i think now we're gonna have to do continue selecting okay so we're using wasd move around the table now do the frame do the quality so now we're gonna start our gluing This first face, you kind of want to get done as quickly as possible because it's the most time consuming part is the gluing aspect. Now we've picked the style. So again, maple, the weaker maple, not the stronger maple. And now we pick the glue type, which I mean, we got stronger, but I think we're for what we're doing. We're doing a more of a budget one. We're just going to do this one and then blue. Now, if you hold, if you tap F, you can kind of see the areas that we can apply glue. So we just apply it. Really somewhat therapeutic, kind of like power wash simulator. Get this band here. And it's not like you're going to overspray anything against a video game. It understands. It's not like I'm making glue all over the, the rest of the guitar. And I don't know what happens if you don't get it all. We'll try to get that 100%. So we also have the Q and E that you're able to change how close you are. There we go. Got it. Finally. <laughs> These little intricate ones are a little harder to do, little bands. All right, let's center ourselves again. Uh, what do we do? Upper support. Okay, so it's here. Long press. Initial quality. Either maple or maple, but we only have one option, so makes it a little easier. Again, already selected our hot glue. And now we hit F to see where we need a glue. Again, this one now being a bigger piece is a little easier to paste. I don't know if the bottom needs it. I think it's already 100% anyway. Alright, now the lower support, which is probably the opposite side. Initial quality, maple. Blue is already pre selected. Just gotta get to the fun part. Again, very much pool simulator, power wash simulator. Like it's somewhat therapeutic. When it's not like a trim or a frame or something, it's, it's very intricate. So now we're doing clamps. We're getting clampy wiggums. Now we're going to select the clamp. So the internal clamp will do the 94%. I imagine this is only difficult if you have multiple guitars at the same time. I do like how the mechanics change a little bit along the way. Like you have these and then you have other ones that clamp down. Uh, so I think we're good here. Now we get the frame. Uh, maple. And now we glue this one. 
as opposed to when it just happens. There you go. You just have to keep on looking at the top corner. It's kind of annoying. All right, so now we do the clamps. All right, again here, more information. I, I love that they're giving you so much information. Uh, I wish it wasn't so large and in charge and overwhelming. But, I mean, I get it. They have a stress limit eventually, so. And we're going to need eight of these. So we're definitely going to want to put the red ones. We got five of those. Now we'll do some of these. I'm not sure if that's the wear and tear on these or if that's the strength of them. I'm not sure. Should have probably read the information. I think that's what it, it might be the wear of the clips. This he just left go. Cool. Camera disappeared. Cause I gave one two to do in a specific order, so you might as well just do it in that order, right? There's probably a reason why it's doing this order, maybe for stability. But it's super simple. You just left click, left click, drag down, and it clamps it. Now we have the drying phase. All right, so we're going to hold left click. And now we're going to give you the drying information. This is the part that I was con confused with initially was this whole informational panel. Click on that. Now you kind of get an idea. So it is, I put 10 times. This would have been by default an hour, maybe I think like an hour, 10 minutes for it to do, give or take. And it's only seven minutes here. So I don't have to go sleep. I don't have to do all those extracurricular stuff. I could just be busy, but it tells you how long everything is going to be estimated. And so at this point, what you do is you select what part of the shelf and which shelf you want to move it. So you have to literally click this. Otherwise it won't dry on the table. Now it disappears and it's literally going to appear right behind us. So this tells you under normal circumstances, if you just did a one times in your settings, it's going to be an hour or two to wait. You can either go to sleep <laughs> if it's the end of the day, or you can go on the sofa or just do how, whatever you want to do to pass the time. We don't have to do that because we only did seven minutes because we did 10 times. But here it is. And again, I do like the informational panel. We've already just in that little bit of talking, it already went like four minutes. So now it's two minutes. So this is the cool part that they added this feature. I don't know when they did it. It's fantastic. Because I mean, sometimes you don't want to sit here real time and wait forever to do something. You kind of want to just do it. You know, you want to be like Nike. Just do it. All right, so it's done. So fantastic. And again, super informational. You can have all that information that they're just throwing to you. Perfect. I wish more games did this where you just hovered and you don't have to click anything initially. Tells you that the job is nine days remaining on it. The drying time is done. Your current quality is two stars. Your quality required is like a, a star and a quarter. And then it gives them their information, Tyler Stevens. So now we right click here and we want to put it back on the table. We'll put it to the table next to us over here. And again, we're on the first floor. We don't have any tables on the first floor. Did we not select it? Yeah, here we go. This is another thing you have to remember, literally click move here and then it'll put it. More information here. Now it's telling you your next step is your soundboard and your binding. I hope that late stages in this game, it continues to give you step by step because super useful. Not everyone is an expert at this kind of like gunsmith simulator. You kind of just want to casually play this game. I hope you have the option to continue having little tutorials and step by step, let you know of what's next. So we got rid of those things. Got the shell off. 
Now we got a glue soundboard. And we'll do ash. Yeah, we can do base wood, but we'll do ash. I think something else we were doing ash earlier. So we're going to change this to OPEC. O2. Uh, two. And then I guess Navy. Not sure why we have the other color selected. Can we not select it? I don't know. I will change this. Oh, that's two colors. Okay, I got you. You get confused with O2 and 2. I got you. Uh, navy blue. Actually, it's going to look really cool because the guitar that I've done already was just your wood colored guitar. Didn't have any fancy coloring. All right, that's that's pretty neat. Uh, glue. We'll continue doing the super fast glue three star one. And now we literally glue it. And it's just the trim. And again, you, it's not like you could do anything else anywhere. Very therapeutic. And I mean, you looks like you can apply glue elsewhere. But I don't think it. I don't think the game really errors if you accidentally spray some glue somewhere else you have to be as precise as you do in real life it's pretty much just the trim very therapeutic you could probably put because of what the game is you could probably put some music in the background just jam out maybe listen to some jazz music something soft all day long and i do like at the end that you could tune it as well and now we're going to do the bindings, which kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know why they do the top. But there's probably a reason why they do the top, but the binding at the bottom is very difficult to get to. I kind of wish we do that before the soundboard because the soundboard is open so you can reach in there. Uh, that or we can hit R. Is there a pirate? Can we hit R? I will do walnuts. I think we're already doing walnut before. I think a lot of this guitar is walnut and ash. Can flip over. Okay, so R, our pirate. I think what we're gluing now. Uh, walnut. Base completed. Now we're gonna have to clamp them. Here comes Clampy Wiggums again. Select our clamps. And we need nine of these. So we'll try to get the higher percentage ones. Again, I'm not sure if this is the stress tension that they have remaining or if it's the quality of the clamps. I think because they're all very, it's probably how much stress they have left on them. As opposed to me just kind of doing one side the whole time just because it's a video game. There's probably reasons why you're doing things in parallel. Alright, so we're done. So now we do the bridge. It's also very informative too, where I'm not a gun guy in Gunsmith Simulator. You do get educated with a lot of things. On a lot of the intricate parts that go into building a gun. This, same thing with guitar parts. can totally respect it a lot more, understanding everything, knowing what's what. Oh, 99%. What did we miss? All right, got that pasted down. Now we do the neck. Wonder if it'll just zoom us over there. And it will. A long press on it. I do like the music in the background. Nice. Like rock eccentric kind of uh I think it reminds me of Bill and Ted. 
a little bit. <laughs> Mahogany, sure. I would like to do a walnut, like we're doing other parts of it, but they don't want it. So now we gotta just change the gloss. Good, change the glue. Super fast glue. And hit F to see where we have to do it. Would be nice if it was maybe like green or something, red maybe, and then change the green when you've pasted over the correct areas. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. I don't even know if we're doing in the right spot. I'm just kind of going off of what the noise is giving us. It was the area that we started initially. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rosette. And I remember we came across those earlier where we went in the warehouse. It was like the back corner. And we got the glue. Well, now we're good. This one, you definitely notice the contrast and what's been glued, what's not been glued. Again, I wish it did some sort of visual indicator or some wacky, zany noise of when you've achieved 100%. Instead of just like keeping one eyeball looking at the area to see if it was 100% or not. Fretboard. I fret not. Initial quality. We'll do a wench. Sure, already got the glue selected. F and okay, it's gonna be another very contrasty looking one. Might be one of the easier slatherings. Now there we go. I was gonna say to get the hundred percent, it's probably gonna be a pain in the butt. So clamps, clampy, clampy wiggums. Let's select our clamps. Yeah, I think these are probably the stress and tension that they have remaining on them. Because you have a lot of different ones, different colors, but they have different percentages. All right, so positioning. I, again, I like it's almost like a little mini game of how all these things change. And we got to put our nuts in. Right here, very intricate spot. Kind of like, again, Gunsmith Simulator. Little intricate pieces everywhere. We're gonna do metal alloy. Right, so now we have to dry it. Oh, and our sign is there. Also music, that's funny. I picked such a generic name before that like, didn't even notice that I was there. Just such a, I think this is generic name. Yeah, I don't even remember. It was maybe what music store or something. Now we do these. Once the camera stops rotating. I'm trying to do what the game wants me to do. Do them in parallel. And now we paint. This is very much therapy. Just doing this. Who knew just 
left clicking and swiping your mouse would be so therapeutic. <laughs> All right, 100% on that. Now the soundboard. This is the Navy. So this is the part that I remember. Definitely you're going to see the contrast in this. Really cool because I want to say I think the other guitar that I was doing, they just wanted a gloss finish. So while I made it shiny, it didn't have as much contrast as like what this is showing. This is like, it's a really cool part. Corner there. Uh, it's probably around here, maybe. Here. Around this area. Stick around the trims. Okay, we got it. Again, see, no visual indicator other than just that little percentage change. Would be nice to see a difference in that, just so we can tell, you know, like, just stop obsessing over looking for intricate little things when we don't have to anymore. Let's do the buttons first, right? Is it initial quality? We'll do circulars. And they want circular. And steel. Okay. And then they're all going to change. And we just apply them. Just literally click on them. Alright, that was simple enough. Now we get the freights. Metal alloy. And just like the markers. This game, like, it revolves a lot of focus and attention to detail. 100% a game that if you want to come home and, like, chill. That's what this game is. like a bunch of mini tasks so here's where i was doing the gold before and one they want steel and another guitar that i was doing now you have to literally put the bolts in get these screws and then you have to get the other ones in now we put here one here and there's gonna be another one under the neck One's a little awkward. You're gonna have to zoom in for. Hey, we could probably honestly, we could make this a little simpler. Once we select this, select that, we'll flip it over. Make life a lot easier, right? Get that bad boy in. Now we got a strings on. Should be real easy because we only got six <laughs> in stock. Uh, let's select it. Here. Now you press that, you press that. You hold to connect them all. You gotta do one. And we'll just set up the last one, which is like it says reserve, but it's literally our last string that we have. All right, so tuning. Now we got a tuner. All right, we'll do the rehearsal room. Grab the guitar. Go upstairs. Go in the hallway. And you can run. Select here. Let's... Whoa, door. Rude. <laughs> it's going to close automatically on us. Let's select our shadow. Right, so the tooting is, I think it's left click, right click to go high and low. 
All right, so yeah, so left click is to go up, right click is to go down. More intuitive way to do the tuning would be like left click the string that you want to do and then use the space bar to do that while you're tuning with the left click at the, the neck of the guitar. But that's just my two cents. Oh, there we go. Got it. A little tricky to get it the first time because you feel like you're not doing it because it's not really responding but then it does eventually and then e4 there we go is completed so we've literally built this guitar and now we right click and we complete the project so this is our breakdown quality all the parts that we used this is the experience of all the other parts the the, the wood and the colors and just alloys and whatnot Customer statistics, what they required, what the final product was, how much we earned, customer loyalty, popularity of my brand, which is went up 9%, which is nice. Here's our income. We got $550. Profit is $605. So it's plus 110%. Got a bonus brand of plus three, I guess $3. 0.3%. The final price was 1158 and now we got a balance of 3600. <laughs> we could jack up the price too. <laughs> we'll leave it like that. We're good. Go door, don't be rude. And that was Music Store Simulator. It is currently $24.99 USD on Steam Early Access. Thank you to Creative Forge Games and Playway, the game key. We will catch you in the next one.